What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's not easy to sit down here and constantly talk for four hours straight. I'll tell you that much. That's how long I've been doing reactions today. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to be checking this, this song out, man. Some days you guys have been requesting it and I'm finally here, guys. And this, I guess this is off the Parachute album um some days so you guys have been suggesting it i think i've done a couple of songs off of this album or maybe three songs or so off of this album already but anyways man we're gonna check this out some days up church let's get into it man let's go let's just jump into it some days i don't want to wake i just want to bake i don't want to wait till my mate brought me up a J. Again. I looked up stuff that seemed pretend The Illuminati and the pyramids I've been 12 hours deep on the Google binge I heard stories of strange men Dressed in black clothes And a black mask coming up to people's windows I sleep with a 5'5 five, five chick Always loaded Optic rocking the nights My room looked like Fort Knox My mind running like an evil genius Sometimes I scare my damn self Cause I'm Norman Bates with a sense of kindness With a kindness sick of being a sickness Sitting in the bottom of the shit river ditches This ain't nice picks and hot chicks It's Nirvana I ain't trying to for a dollar I don't wanna wake I just wanna be It'll make people say I'm on drugs now. They'll probably say that I'm going crazy or I got possessed by the Willis house. I know you guys heard that that reference, right? It's gonna be one of them dope tracks. <laughs> That's a double entendre there. If you guys didn't catch it, that's a double entendre. You know, you know, every now and then Up Church will give you a couple of those in a song. So that was pretty cool. Them dope tracks that'll make people say I'm on drugs now. They'll probably say that I'm going crazy or I got possessed by the Willis house. Mm. They'll probably claim that I'm a danger to myself for all them nights at three o'clock. Precious time rolled in a swisher, listening for a whisper from my name. Rock. Sitting in the air style, burning sage like I'm Cherokee. Deep by sockets, hairline, got a widow's peak. Knife in the sheep, Pocahontas in the sheets. I'll be damned if I let America John Smith me. Some days I don't want to wake. The thing about uh, the thing about Up Church that I that I like is like his music is so his music is different, but also for some reason, even though he sometimes go crazy on the track, it's very relaxing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, and you guys have heard me say this multiple times before, I think he sings better than he raps, and um yeah, I think he sings better than he raps. I think his singing is his better is better talent. You get what I'm saying? Um, and and I say this with like his singing being a ten and his rapping being a nine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that that's how close it is. So but I do think that his singing is better ability. I love when he does hooks. His hooks are unbelievable. I'm a sucker for hooks. I love hooks on songs no matter what it is. No matter if it's the same person doing it or whatever. I'm just a sucker for hooks. Uh, if it sounds good, if it fits the song, Nate Dogg was one of my favorite dudes that did hooks. R.I.P. to him. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like Nate song just Nate Dogg just killed every hook that he ever did ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can't listen to a Nate Dogg hook and be like, hey, that doesn't go. <laughs> There's not one. I dare you to name me a hook that Nate Dogg did that was a fire. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. The man was a master at singing hooks. He may not have written them all, but he was just a master of delivering hooks. You know what I'm saying? And his voice just, he's a, he got the hook voice. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back a little bit here. All right. Damn if I let America John Smith me. Some days I don't want to wake. I just want to bake. I don't want to wait till my mate brought me up a J. I'm not 
but the same, yeah. Wanna be a leader, but don't care about being famous. You wanna know what fame is, it's stressful and it's dangerous. I am not complaining, I'm just writing out a story that's important for the up and coming. Don't bow down the biz of money, stay secluded, know yourself and see them coming. Don't let them choose what you're becoming. Be ready to die, cause haters hunting for headlines and shooting some days. Tell them the facts, man. I like it. I like it. Some days I don't want to wake. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about me. But <laughs> if I want to get to that up church status, you know what I'm saying? I got to keep going. <laughs> I can't. You know what I'm saying? But some days you really don't want to wake. I'm not the type that, you know, want to bake. But, <laughs> you know, because I don't, I don't smoke. I don't indulge in the, in the, in the, in the Mary Jane, you know. Um, I've been around people pretty much my whole life that do it. And I just never saw the need. I smoked a cigarette once and I hated it. <laughs> okay. I was like, why is this so bitter? <laughs> like, I can't never again. <laughs> okay. That was all it took for me to be like, smoking is not cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, you know, saying no to drugs or anything like that. It was just like, I did it did smoked a cigarette and no i've never been high you know i've never been high never been drunk like i'm a good church boy <laughs> anyways um yeah but there's nothing wrong with that and there's and the thing about it is like if, if that's how you feel like you want to indulge i just don't think i don't believe in hardcore drugs like the hardcore stuff like heroin cocaine and stuff like that, i think that stuff is just way too addictive but if if you, you know, if you smoke marijuana because it helps you and I'm putting emphasis on help you, if you're just doing it because of casual, it casually, I, I would, you know, I'm not telling you what to do, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, if you just casually smoke marijuana, it's not, it's not good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but if you're doing it because it helps you like with stress, headaches, stuff like that, I think it helps with stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful that you're not to the point of addiction because addiction is serious no matter what it is no matter what it is whether it be sugar <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm addicted to sugar you know what i'm saying like that's that's my thing that i have to deal with like you know what i'm saying like so <laughs> you know all of us get to that point where you really gotta be looking at yourself like damn <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like you can't go a day without having sugar <laughs> you know what i'm saying like but i drink so much water so it kind of balances it out i i guess but it's like you know i i just always have to kind of have something sweet but anyways man thank you guys so much for tuning in some days of church man he always brings the heat so thank you guys so much for watching once again i will catch you guys later like subscribe if you're new comment in the comment section let me know what you want to see next and i will see you guys for the next one Peace.